In this video, we're going to talk about radical equations. So radical equations. So a radical equation is an equation with square roots. And perhaps the most important thing that needs to be said is that whenever you're solving one of these, you want to always check your answers. Sometimes you can do everything correctly and you'll get an answer that is wrong. So very important to check answers when you're solving radical equations. Let's go ahead and do one example and, and in the videos that follow, um, you'll have more. So let's see, solve. Hmm, let's see what to do. Let's try uh, this one. The square root of 6x plus 1 equals x minus 1. So in every radical equation or equation with square roots, the first thing you want to do is isolate the square root. That's already been done for us in this example here. So then once we isolate the square root, we square both sides to eliminate the square root. So we'll square this one square root 6x plus 1, and this is squared, and then we'll square this one, x minus 1 squared. When you square the square root, it goes away, so you just get 6x plus 1, and this one, it's x minus 1 squared, so you can just write it twice and distribute. So I'll write it twice. So then we have 6x plus 1 equals, and then we'll FOIL, so first, so x times x is x squared, and then the outside, so x times negative 1 is negative x. Then the inside, so negative x. And the last, negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1. I'm going to come up here. So we have 6x plus 1 equals x squared. And then minus x minus x is minus 2x. And then we have the plus 1. We have a quadratic equation, so we should set it equal to 0. So we'll subtract 6x from both sides. Those will cancel, and we'll subtract 1 from both sides. Oh, wow, those cancel as well. That's pretty nice. So we're left with x squared, that's this piece, minus 2x, uh, 8x, 8x, almost messed up, 8x. Right, minus 2 minus 6 is minus 8, whoops. And then these go away, so here we're just left with 0. So you have x squared minus 8x equals 0. Now we can factor out an x. So x minus 8, and that's equal to 0. We have a product equal to 0, so we can use the uh, 0 product principle. That means each factor is equal to 0. And then, so here we get 0, and then here we get 8. And so again, we're supposed to check the answers. Now, when you check the answers, um, you're supposed to use the original equation. Okay, very, very important. So now we're going to plug the numbers back into this guy here. So let's see. So we're going to check 0. We're going to check 0. So we're going to put 0 here for all the x's. Okay, so let's see. Square root 6 times 0 plus 1 equals 0 minus 1. So we have the square root of 1, because this is 0. 0 plus 1 is 1, equals negative 1. So 1 equals negative 1. No, does not work. All right, so 0 does not work. Let's go ahead and check 8. So let's see, square root 6 times 8 plus 1. That should be equal to 8 minus 1. So 6 times 8 is 48. Right, 48 plus 1 is 49. So the square root of 49 is equal to 8 minus 1, which is 7. So 7 is equal to 7. Yay, we got it. So the answer in this case is 8. So recap. Whenever you have an equation with square roots, step 1, isolate the square root, and then square both sides. Usually you get a quadratic equation, so you set it equal to 0. You solve, and as always, check your answers. Uh, I hope that made sense.